guys, I'm playing Clothis God of Destiny, which is uh, a uh, gruel uh, group slug. So I'm just going to ping people for playing lands and their spells. So it should be a fun time from... Well, for me at least. Anyway. One quarter of the table. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's Woody, and this week I am playing Ishkana. I'm going to make lots of spiders and shoot total for a lot of life drain. <laughs> Hello, I'm Total. And um, a YouTuber, apparently. And I'm playing Cecily, Haunted Mage. So, maximum hand size is 11. So, interesting hand size. 3 5. Um, I think I've built it like a Spells Matters deck. I only, I only built it last week, but I haven't put any reps into it at all, so I don't even know if it's going to work. So let's see what happens. All right, I'm Grovax, and I'll be playing Renfield, Delusional Minion, which is the alternate art for Eruth, uh, Tormented Prophet. So hopefully I can cast a whole lot of spells before people get their uh, uh, get their stacks pieces out. Nice. Oh, I will draw for turn as per the rules, and I'll play a Forgotten Cave, Taps, and Pass Turn. Draw. I will play an Evolving Wilds, and I'll pass the turn. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'll go get my land. Good job, kid. I'm going to play a Sunken Hollow pass turn. All right. I will draw for turn. I'm going to play a Scalding Tarn, pay one life and crack that for an island. And with that island, I'm going to actually cast a Soul Ring and then pass the turn. Nice. nice. Okay. Untap and draw. I am going to play a forest and I will tap this for a soul ring. And then I'll tap three and play Altar of a Pantheon. So your devotion to each colour and each combination of colours is increased by one. And then I can tap it and add one mana of any colour. Control a god or demigod or legendary enchantment, you gain one life. Nice. I'll pass it then. Untap, draw. Uh, ooh. What are we doing? Forest for the turn and pass the turn. A draw. Play a crumbling necropolis and pass turn. Tap up, keep draw. I will play a mountain as my land for turn. And I will spend. Tap up four mana, but I'll spend three of it and cast a Geo. A G Electrode? G Electrode? Sounds good to uh, me. Floating a, colorless, uh, floating a colorless mana, but I have nothing to spend it on and pass the turn. Okay. And tap, upkeep, and draw. I will play a forest as my land for turn. And then I will tap. Um, yeah, tap like this. And bring out Clothis, God of Destiny. And then oh, I it's will really painful really quick, isn't it? go tap this for green, and I'm going to play Bond of Floating. So I've got a colorless floating. So I look at the top three cards of your library. I can reveal a permanent card from among them, put it into my hand, put the rest on the bottom of my library, and I gain three life. So top three, uh, I am going to put a mountain into my hand, and I'll put the rest onto the bottom of my library. Now gain free life, and that's my turn. Nice. Untap. Draw. Uh, forest for the turn. Temp 3. I'll play a Nyx Weaver, and pass over to Total. Uh, end your turn, I'm going to brainstorm. 3... Blue player, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, one, two. Get back on top. Okay, untap. Draw. Yeah, I should play a mountain. Two, three, I'm gonna play Command Sphere. Pass turn. Alright. Untap. That's a really cool Command Sphere. You draw. 
That was a uh, let's see here. Secret lab. I'm going. I'm going to pay two for a Kessick Flame uh, Breather. I'm play a Terramorphic Expanse as my land for turn, and I'll go ahead and immediately crack that for an island and pass the turn. Okay, I will. Um, two uh, stacks decks going on now. And draw. <laughs> so, cards in li uh, in graveyards. I have two lands. Two lands? So, um, brainstorm. One, one land. Uh, let's go with. I will exile um, Bond of Flourishing from my graveyard. So, because it's not a land, I gain two life and you all take two. Nice. I will play a mountain for turn. I will play. Um, hmm. I think that might actually be all I do. I'm just going to pass the turn. Oh, nice. So, untap. Beginning my upkeep, I put the top two cards of my library into the graveyard. So we've got a timepiece and a spider. So I've got three quarters of the way to delirium. And I'll draw for turn. I will. Uh, which one to play? We'll tap three and I will cultivate. I will go get two basic lands, put one into the battlefield tapped. Anyone open? Yeah, I'm open. Yep. You're open. And you're on 45 life. I am, Swing at you with the Nyx Weaver. And I'll go get How my land. Um, How uh, it's a 2-3, sorry, you're... mate. No worries. Um, I'm going to get two swamps. Um, but I'm going to pass the turn whilst I go and do that. I will be playing one and put the other one to my hand. Hey. Draw. Sorry, mm. I mean, I'll be playing the one that I put into my hand. As well as putting one in from the Cult of Eight. Um, one, two, for a swift. Well, the one that you play Oops. normally, uh, Chris, would come and play untapped, right? That is perfectly correct, Krovax. And pass turn. Alright, at the end of your turn, Matt, I like to tap uh, Geoelectro... Uh, Geoelectrode. And I'll deal one damage to you, John. Sure. And then... Untap. <sighs> upkeep. Oop, upkeep draw. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play a Nivix, Ari of the Fire Mind, as my land for turn. And then I like to tap up four manas. One, two, three, four manas. And I'll cast a Moonveal Regent. Oh, it's a good card. And I think I'll crack in one more at you, John, since you're at 42. Sure. And then I will pass the turn. On your end step, I'm going to tap five, and I'm going to flash in Dictate of the Twin Gods. If a source uh, a source would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double that damage to that um, permanent or player instead. It's global, I'm not just gonna, mine. I'm going to pay two and counter spell that. Uh, should I... <laughs> 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 right. And tap upkeep and I've draw. got two lesser boards who have double damage coming at me. <laughs> <laughs> it's global. Yeah. You said you wanted a quick game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you targeting on your closest trigger? Uh, I will. Uh, cars and graveyards. Uh, I have to spell brainstorm. Um, I'll exile brainstorm. I've got delirium, just so you're aware now. Okay, maybe I should exile something from yours then. What does Delirium do for your deck? It gives me spiders when I play Ishkana. So I get three spiders when Ishkana comes in. That's probably fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's let's get rid of yeah, let's get rid of the ops because I'm not sure that you don't have ways to get stuff back from your graveyard. Get rid of the uh, what? Which one? Sorry. 
opt from um, the Matt's graveyard. Oh, from Matt. Brainstorm. Okay. Yeah. Brainstorm, yeah? Yeah, brainstorm. So, yeah, I don't know why I said opt. Uh, and <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, who's caught yeah. opt? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you'll on. also do, yeah. <laughs> and then I will tap four. And I will play Tectonic Giant. And the rest of us will lose two and you gain two, right? Yeah, so I gain two and everybody loses two, yeah. Okay, okay, cool. sorry. Uh, right. Did Key, I play you stayed quiet in chat. No, I... Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Temple of the Force God was the one I was going to play. So. Uh, and then I will tap five. And I'll play Nissa, who shakes the world. So Clothis cool. is online now. Uh, I'll gain a life because I tapped it while I've got a legendary enchantment creature out. So nice. she comes out with five loyalty counters and forest I control tap for an additional one. Uh, I'm going to uptick her now and I will untap Temple of the False God and it will get um, three 1-1 one -one counters on it. And has vigilance and haste. Okay. Move to combat. Uh, who's open? I think Me. Matt's the only one who's open. Isn't I'm, I'm open as well. You're open as well. So let's go um, Clothis at Chris and my temple at. Um, Max. I shall be taking four. Max is a temple, mate. Is it three or four? Three. Yeah, two, three. Uh, and that's it for me. That's my turn. Okay, on tap. Uh, mill two. One. Two. And then draw for tap. Ooh, nice one. I will play a forest for the turn. Um, okay, I am going to play Nissa's Pilgrimage. Search my library for up to two basic uh, forests. Reveal and point into my hand. And that's it because I haven't got spell mastery. Uh, one forest. Two forests, um, and then for three, I've got Grown Right of Iclamoth. We'll go top nice. four. Yeah, take a creature or a land. Ooh. Um. Okay, I will reveal Sweet Gum Recluse, and put the rest in any order to the bottom. Uh, and then I guess my hand. Uh, and then I'm gonna pass the turn. Okay. Good hand. What do I want to do? Don't do anything. They'll be fine. Hmm, nothing to worry about here. Nothing. Um, one, two, three. I'm going to play Imperial Recruiter. Nice. Search my life critical power two or less. Okay. So, uh, Key's favourite creature type. Advisor? Yeah. Human. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna get young Pyromancer. Yeah, I hear that card's pretty good. It's not bad, yeah, mate. Oh, dropped a card. Come here. Under the desk. I don't know if Pirate is, is your favourite creature type key. Oh dear. And then I'll go pay two to play young Pyro. So you made the mistake of having a second game and not going for food. 
<laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> okay, the sugar shakes now. Uh, that's made down. <laughs> You're not going to free equip your uh, your boots? Can I free equip it? Is it? Ah, that's the other one, mate. This is a one cost. Oh. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that's. Um, Go back just give your treasures away. That's what it is. <laughs> you give me a treasure, I'll do it. <laughs> I will untap. Oh, on your end step, actually, I like to deal one more damage. Uh, I'm going to deal one damage to Nissa on that end step. Oh, that's, that seems perfectly reasonable. That does. Oh, uh, actually, it does deal damage to target creature or player. Oh, so, all right. And that target oh, a planeswalker? Old rules. Old hey. rules. Okay. Yeah, I'll just deal. I'll just deal one damage to John then. Yeah, yeah. I do. <laughs> You're at the highest life total, so. I know. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's see here. You um, chose stacks. That's what you did. <laughs> I'm going to. Oh wait, I chose stacks. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> I'm gonna pay three mana. And I'm gonna play my commander. Uh, I do have a Moonville ch Regent trigger, but I will choose to not do it. Sure. And then... Uh, let's see here. Uh, you have... What all do you have in your graveyard right now, uh, Chris? Ooh, uh, okay. Uh, so, what are you after? Or do you want me to read everything? Well... Are you trying to take me off uh, Delirium? Yeah, I think I might want to. Okay, so if you take... Cre uh, so I've got two sorceries, two artifacts, two land, and one creature. Okay, I'm going to... pay three mana mm -hmm. and cast Witness the Future. Uh, trigger on the on the uh, Gelectrode. I'm going to tap Neil one damage uh, to you, John, and then untap the... Uh, the Gelectrode, yeah. and then Keswick Flame Breather will deal one damage to each of my opponents. And then I'll have target player shuffle up to four target cards from their graveyard into their library, and then I look at the top four cards in my library, put one of those cards into my hand, and the rest at the bottom of my library in random order. Okay, so that one damage put your... to us as well. Yeah, it's one damage to everybody, because of Keswick. Um, I think I'll pick your one creature that you have. Okay. Ah, that's, that's me. And I get, and I get three more targets. I think your two artifacts. Yeah. No, uh, those two, and then. Kovacs has seen this deck before, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, one other card. I I don't I don't think I care which. Uh, uh a non-land, please. A non-land. So I will. Yeah. Put um, pil this is pilgrimage back in. Yeah, shuffle those back into your library, please. Not a problem. And then I will look at the top four cards of my library and put one into hand. And that did not get me the land drop I wanted. Not a fan of this anti spider technology. <laughs> Just squished my spiders. Okay, I will put that card. Do I have to reveal it? No. And then these other three go to the bottom in a random order. I will choose to not use the uh, Moonville trigger again. And then I will pass the turn. Okay. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Um, cards in graveyard. I have two lands and the witness of the future. Why is everyone asking so... this question? Instant. It's a terrible question. <laughs> Have you got your just... graveyard, Chris? <sighs> just like two decks. <laughs> Not much Antioch. now. I've uh, got two land and a sorcery. All oh, right, okay. Um, I'll take the sorcery out of yours, Chris, because oh, I've done that twice. This is just... And I will gain two, and you'll all lose two. You're picked on now. Uh, I will play a Evolving Wilds as my land for ten. Oh. Well, at least you have a chance of getting your cards back for my effect. Crack it, suck it. Oh, thanks, mate. <laughs> get a... Yeah, get a forest. Shuffle up. 
Well, you've got quite a lot of blockers there, haven't you, Krovax? I have three, uh, four creatures in play. Yeah. Uh, two, four, a four, four, a one, three, and a zero, one. Right, okay. So, say that again, sorry for me. A four, four, you've uh, got, so... A two, four, a four, four, a one, three, and a zero, one. Okay. So, I'm going to tap two, and I'll play Tangled Florahedron. Because what I need now is more ramp. But I'm going to uptick uh, Nissa and untap this forest. Um, put a counter on it. Mm. Trees are two mana, John. Say that again, sorry? Key in chat says trees are two mana. So you, every time oh, you tap a forest, yeah, you get two. Right. So. Yeah, oh, you're right, yeah. I can't even play my own cards. So terrible in this game. Uh, it's my world. Right. Um, so <laughs> I gain. Oh, no, I didn't. Don't. So I'm going to move to attacks. Um, I'm going to throw Tectonic Giant at Chris. I'm going to throw Clothis. I might keep Clothis back, actually. Um, and I'll throw. I'll throw the forest at Chris and the temple at. What? Wait, who's on more light? Oh, you're both on the same. Uh, temple at Matt. I think Krovax needs taking down a peg or two. We doing uh, rear. Uh, what's your attack you're them. picking for your giant? I am doing the exile of the top two cards in my library, so I, I can play them this turn. So Why can't until the giant. Don't you choose one of them? Uh, choose one of them until the end of your t next turn. You may play that card, uh, and I will pick Timeless Witness. That's the Just card block with my Imperial. That'll stay exiled. I can can you affect my graveyard between now and my turn? No. Okay, I will block with my spider. Okay. Uh, what are you blocking the? Uh, I suppose it doesn't matter because it's free to. It's two free, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, go ahead and block his satanic giant if you want. Uh, how big is your? Wait, how big is your your spider? Two three. Uh, so block his land. Four. Okay. I'll, I'll block his land I'll, and I'll I'll finish it off. I'll I'll block the land. I'll tap new one more damage to your land. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm changing sides. Side. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, second main. I'm going to tap two and uh, two. And I, I'll tap it like this. Two and two, and I'll play Timeless Witness. Nice. Uh, when that enters the battlefield, I can um, get a card from my graveyard back to hand. I'll pick Dictate of Erebos. Uh, di sorry, Dictate of Twin Gods. I'll tap two red, two green, and the Pantheon, and I will play the Dictate of Twin Gods. What's that do? Oh, is it? Oh, we've got that back. <laughs> I got it back with a timeless witness. witness. Oh, nice. <sighs> uh, so, yeah, and then that is the end of my turn. It's a global effect, though. So... I know, I know, but it does nothing for his mm. <laughs> 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 I'll pass the turn. Okay, untap. Draw. Ooh. Really like that card. Uh, I will play. The Sanctarium. Sanctarium. It doubles the ping damage as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yes. Hey, it's a global effect. If a source would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double that damage instead. Oh, so man. anything. Um, that is... Yeah, you burn spells, literally everything. That is pure rudeness. <laughs> <laughs> so cheeky. Cheeky. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Can't count now. Uh, for five, I will play Ishkana. I do have Delirium again. Uh, so I get three spiders. Where are my spiders? There are. One, two, and three. Cool. And then... I realise I've got more mana. Not quite enough there. Uh, 
then I shall pass the turn. On my end step, I will flip Growing Rights of Iclamath. Okay. Let's draw. Oh, I think I missed the perfect fit. <coughs> um. So far behind. Yeah, that's just what you want us to think. <laughs> <laughs> I know your Did, game. Anything over there got trampled, John? No, no trample. Thankfully. I don't think I've got anything to give it trample either. It doesn't win by combat damage usually. It wins by um, by dealing damage to other ways. Uh, Everyone taking that's four of every pre <laughs> combat. <laughs> Try and try and last. Possibly, I don't know. One, two, three, four. And Craig Pyromancer. Nice. When I draw my second card each turn, it's three damage, but it's actually going to do six. Yeah, it is. <sighs> yes, it is. <laughs> so I'm going to pay one for Faithless Looting. Uh, trigger Young Pyromancer. Make a one, one elemental. Uh, draw two cards, triggering Pyromancer. So I'm going to do twelve. Uh, when it, whenever you draw your second card uh, each turn, uh, so, 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 it, it yes. kind of cares about. All right. So I'll do six damage to Nissa. Yeah, that makes, seems sensible. Uh, so I draw two, and then I discard two. Mm. Oh God. I want to discard any of these. Uh, <laughs> um, not near that. So Niv Mizzet Paron goes in. And Talisman. Um, I'm going to pay one to put my Swiftfoot boots on my Pyromancer Iron Crag. And that's me done. All right. I have no end of turn shenanigans, so I shall untap, upkeep, and then replace my draw with two exile the top two cards of my library. And let's see here, two lands. Let's see here. Who do I want more? Do I want more mana right now? The quandary between playing a tap and an untapped land. One, two, three, four, six mana available. I think you should go for tapped. Yeah, I'm going to play the Swiftwater Cliffs as my land for turn. Comes to play, I'll gain one life. And then the Field of Ruin will go to exile. Because I will have no other lands to play this turn. Um, I'm going to... Uh, how much damage is left on your, on your Nyssa? Just one. Just the one. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go to combat, and I'm going to swing the Moonville Regent at... Do you have any anything with reach, John? Uh, no, I'm just checking my lands. They don't have reach. Nope, negative. Nothing with reach. All right, I'm going to swing that at you, John. Sure, so for, that's eight? For eight. <laughs> Then in my second I main phase, my own <laughs> in my second main phase, I'm going to tap the uh, the electrode, and I'm going to deal two damage to your uh, Temple of the False God land. Sure. So land creature, so it's two it. damage paint on it. Yep. So and then I will pay small. one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to cast the River's Rebuke and return all non-land permanents target player controls to their owner's hand. And John, I'm going to keep picking on you and target you with that. All non-land. All non-land uh, permanents. Okay. And then uh, that will trigger the an untap on the Gelectrode and a damage trigger on, on cast six to deal one damage to each of my opponents. And then I'm going to tap the Gelectrode to deal one more damage to your uh, Temple of the False God. Is it play? 
Time and then I will, I will go ahead and pass the turn from there. Okay. Oh, and for the Moonville Regents, I'm not going to do his uh, discard draw ability on the on those castings. Okay, I'm going to play a Ramunap Ruins as my land for turn. I'll tap for green, red, and one float the other colors to play Clothis. I'll play tap green and use a colorless to play Tangled Florahedron. Um, and then I think that's actually all I can do at this point. So I'll pass the turn. Uh, so on your end step, I'm going to flash in the Sweet Gum Recluse and then Cascade. Uh, so it's a six drop. Oh, I get a free soul ring. That's how that works. Awesome. Right? Yeah. Soul ring. Soul ring. Um, when this enters the battlefield, put three plus one plus one counters on it for each other. For each. For each. Of any number of target creatures that enter the battlefield this turn. So none, right? Or do you get three for this? I think you get three for that one. You get three for that one. That's a good one. And I'll put it on it. Put it on it. Untap. Draw. What's this doing? Nothing important. Uh, land for turn. I need to separate these into forests <coughs> and swamps. Because otherwise it gets confused. Bless you. Uh, hey, favor with the wife as well. <laughs> uh, bubble stuff, aren't you? Yeah, bad. Um, I don't want to be tapping those swamps, really. But I have to. So I'm going to play a lot. Oh! Uh, what I get Hench Hedron. So, for five, I'm going to play Loth. Loth. And I am going to make some spiders from her. Loth. 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 Weird name, isn't it? Spider Queen. It is. It is. Loth. Loth. Um, is it Loth? Yeah. Well, I, I've Loth. just finished all the audiobooks for mm -hmm. Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. Uh, and they pronounce it Loth. Loth? Yeah, like Loth. 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 But yeah, a really good series of books. I highly recommend giving them a listen. Um, and then... No one's really open, right? No, not really. I have two blockers. Two, uh, three blockers. One. I will just pass the turn. Okay. Tap, on tap, on tap, draw. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm going to start off with the ponder. So look at the top three, mm. then back in any order. I've got two of those one ones. Put them like that. A card. So trigger Pyromancer and do three damage to the Spider Queen. That seems a little unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> so does your board stay. <laughs> Well, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I've ever played that card. <laughs> well, at least let you play, and I didn't counter it. Yeah. Um, yeah. My main well, you were tapped out. I thought. I don't know if countering her was an option. Yeah. It's gonna make Ooh, out that it was Kovacs. Like, there it was. Yeah. I'm a blue <laughs> mage. You know that. It's always um, got the counter. It's got pack, uh, pack of dedication in there. 
changed my plan, I think, now. Let's do my bottle off back on that. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, mate, you're alright. Alright. Yeah. Let's go one, two, three, four, four. Cecily. And that's me done. Nice. All right. A bit land screwed. I will untap. Upkeep and draw. <laughs> replacing the two draws. Exiling the top two cards of my library. Oh. And, uh... Huh. I'm going to play that island as my land for turn. And... Well, let's just see if I can just go a little bit, a little bit nuts. So here, uh, John, oh, you're still at the highest life mm -hmm. total somehow. So I'm gonna tap and deal one damage to you. I'm gonna spend one blue mana, and I'm gonna cast uh, Breakthrough for X zero. Uh, I draw four, then choose and uh, choose X cards from my hand, and then discard the rest. So I will discard my hand. Okay. And that will uh import that uh she will uh Renfield will change my draw to draw eight. Right. Impulse draw eight. One uh, two three. Hey, oh chat, this is Crowbacks going four, on. Four yeah. five six seven <laughs> and eight. Um well, I'm gonna do early. I'm gonna do one damage. With the Kessick Flame Breather to each of my opponents. Okay. Untap the Gelect Road. And trigger the Moonville Regent. I will discard my hand. And I will draw one card. Because that card had one mana. Or one color. Yeah. I'll draw a card for each of that spell's colors. And uh, Renfield will change that to two. So I'll impulse draw two more. I've already played my land for turn. So I'm just going to clean this up a little bit and get rid of these extra lands. He said in chat, is it not Exile 8? Yeah, well... Uh, excuse me? I exiled 8 for the... Uh, yeah. For the first one I cast, for the Breakthrough. Okay. So this is my Exile pile. Let me just clean that up real quick. That's cool. And I will spend one mana. And I'm going to cast this Mana Vault. It is a non-creature spell, so Kessic Flame Breather will deal one damage to each opponent. Yep. Uh, it's a colorless spell, so Moonville Regent doesn't matter on that trigger. Mm -hmm. Um... Let's see here. I don't necessarily want to steal anything. So I'm going to tap a blue. And three colorless. So I think I won't be able to. Not only, not only do I want to do that like that. Let's see here. Now, I think I want to pay one red and cast Burning Inquiry now. Trigger on the on the untap, trigger on the Gelectrode. So I'm going to tap a uh, Gelectrode to deal one damage to John again. Untap the Gelectrode. Flame, uh, Kessick Flame Breather will deal one damage to each of my opponents. And I'll trigger the Moonville Regent to discard my hand and exile the top, uh, draw two, exiling the top two cards of my library. And then Burning Inquiry will uh, will uh, resolve. Each player draws three, then discards three at random. Okay. Oh. And that uh, will... I will respond to that. Oh, okay. All right, if you have a Back. response. Back. Um, yeah, so I was going to flash in a spider. That's all I was going to okay. do. Okay. Um, that will... Re I'm my draw friend. three will be, re will be replaced with an impulse draw of six. John, did you say you were doing something then? Sorry. No, it's fine. I changed my mind. Okay, so uh, we um, discard it random, don't we? So. Three. Uh, so, 
I've got six cards, so I'm just going to roll a d6 three times. And I'm going to go left to right. Card number okay, four. So I discarded a oh. Burning Tree Emissary, Dictator nice. Twin Guards, and Chandra's Incinerator. Nice. So I discarded the three best cards in my hand. <laughs> Reality well, that's shift. That's Blasphemous Act and Liar Disciple of the Drown. That means I could get them all back. Oh, mate. Makes you feel better. I got rid of two of my best cards. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go ahead and ship this mountain to the exile since I've already did my land for turn. And let's see here. I'm going to pay four mana. And I'm going to cast this Murmuring Mystic. Um, let's see here for. Uh, I don't think I want to trigger Moonville Regent on that because I think I have enough cards in exile. Um, how many cards do you guys have in hand right now? I've got five, three, four, four. Hmm. It's a windfall over there. I see. It is a windfall. Yeah. You know, I think I'm going to go ahead and cast that Windfall. Uh, okay, first tapping the you... Electrode to deal one damage to John again. Before you do that, I'm going to... Well, I know you've floated it for mana, but it's to prevent you getting any more. I'm going to Artifact Mutate your Soul Ring. So you can't use that. And anymore. that destroys it? Uh, yeah, destroys it. And then I create a 1-1 one, one green sapling token where... Um, X one one green where X is its uh, mana cost. So I only create one. And you're targeting the soul ring, not the mana vault. Well, doesn't the mana vault need to be on? Doesn't it pain you, or is that the one that you? Have I have to. to... Yeah, if it's tapped, the it deals one damage. Mean I have to pay four colors to untap it. Yeah, I think I'm the soul ring. Okay, yeah. I w I want to make sure. And then I'll cast the uh, windfall. Which is doing... And so each player will discard their hand. And then draws cards equal to the greatest number of cards player discarded this way. Oh, brilliant. And so, so what's the... I've, I'm discarding four. Four. So I'm discarding three, so four is the highest, yeah? So I will impulse draw eight cards. I make a bird token. And just see if I can find a bird token real quick. Yeah, this will blink. We'll have to work for the bird token for now. Uh, trigger on the Kessick, uh Flame Breather to, uh, breather to deal one damage to each of my opponents. And it was uh, four cards that was drawn? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So eight cards. One, two, three, oh, that's a brain four, <laughs> five, six, I think we're dead. seven. Brain eight. shot as well. Have you kept a... Um, how many I... spells you've cost? <laughs> I don't have it. I only have one blue mana left. All right. So I think most of this is going to go away. You played the land for the turn. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I played my land for the turn. I've been making sure to clear out, clear out the extra land as we went through this. Um, so here with one mana left, what can I do? Um, I could cast a brainstorm, but I don't think that's where I want to be right now. Actually, yeah, I think I will cast the Brainstorm. I'm going to tap and deal one damage to John again. Yep. Then pay one blue mana, and I'm going to cast the uh, Brainstorm. And so I will... Let me get rid of these extra lands. Draw six and put... Uh, well, uh, exile six cards. One, two, three, four... Five, six, and I'll make another bird token. Kessick Flame Breather will uh, ping you all for one additional damage. And I think I'm going to go to combat now. And I'm going to swing the Moonville Regent at John for four in the air. Yep. And then, oh, my G Electrode untapped from the uh, uh, Brainstorm uh, when that resolved. And so 
I will go to my end step and this pile of beautiful cards will go away. Yeah, pretty deep there. Yeah. Or you mill him out. <laughs> yeah, the that's that's the chunk that's gone now. <laughs> Okay, is that the end of your turn, Krovax? Yes, that is the end of my turn. Right. Nice. Tap up, keep, and draw. <laughs> okay, cards in graveyard. Um, you've got a bunch of stuff. Let's give another windfall, just in case you get any ideas again. <laughs> windfall? Yeah, windfall. So All right, windfall, to... windfall is gone. Yeah, I'll gain two, you'll lose two. I will play a... Forest as land for turn. Uh, I will I'd lose two, mate, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. Two, three. <clears throat> I might that could be funny. Two. <laughs> Could I'm be. gonna tap. Yeah, let's let's do. Um, I think this works. Right, so I'm gonna tap. Green, green. One, two, three, four, and five. And I'm going to eternalize timeless witness. So this is now a uh, four, four. <coughs> And when that enters the battlefield, I can return a card to my hand, which is going to be Chandra's Incinerator. And because I've dealt six d damage that's not combat, this actually only costs a single red to cast. Nice. Very nice. Uh, so this is a 6-6 six, six Trampler. Whenever a source you control deals non-combat damage to an opponent, Chandra's Incinerator deals that much damage to target creature or planeswalker that player controls. Nice. Okay. And that's all I can do with my turn. So this is a... I probably need to do this properly. So it's a green sapling with no pips. That's one pip, two pips. So Clothis is still not a creature because this won't have the pips anymore, I don't think. Yeah, with no mana cost. Yeah. Right, so yeah, pass the turn. Okay, on your end step, I'm going to trigger Ishkana once, so Krovax, you can lose eight life, my friend. Well, you promised us that Matt would be the target of that. <laughs> You're on the most life. You're, yeah. <laughs> you keep pinging John, so I thought I'd spread it around a bit. He's just, just standing over his buddy. <laughs> I'm going to it like that. The it's intro was a lie. <laughs> The intro is a lie. The intro is always a lie. <laughs> uh, forest for Ted. I am going to tap my soul ring to foretell that card. Just there. Let's get it on screen. Too many lands in this deck. <laughs> you showing off or something? Because I'm here with four. Yeah. <laughs> I, I built this deck to have more land than creatures on the on the board. Okay, so for a forest, we will play chain web for two forests. I'll play a deadly recluse and I'll just read this card quickly. That's no good, I don't think. No, that's terrible. Uh, then, there's just a bunch of creatures everywhere. Yeah, I'm going to pass the turn. Hey. Let's draw. Someone needs to deal some damage to Krovax, and then I can target mate. Do that. Play the land. Um, well. Wow. 
have you got over there, Crovax? I have, uh, I have two one one birds, a two four, a zero one, a one five, and a one three untapped, and my four four dragon uh, is tapped. Um. To do. You need to do eight points of damage to to one of the other two, Matt. Um, how many? Eight. Can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I've got zero four. <laughs> two one ones and a two one. Bunch of elements uh, coming out of it. <laughs> no, but the locust god is for six. Nice. Oh, that's a good one. I need to draw First a card. Island, uh... <laughs> I need to attack with my planeswalker. With my your planeswalker plane with my commander. Um, how how bad is a hit? Three. I'll take a hit if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Um, so go to attacks. Yeah. Um, hit for three. Yeah, block. When it attacks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when it attacks, I draw a card. Figure those blockers. Maybe kill them. I'm not, I'm not blocking. <laughs> right, cool. Uh, so I get to draw a card. So Pyromancer triggers. I'll take three. You also lose one life. Lose one life. Uh, I'm going to do three damage to Gelectrode. Yeah, in response, I will tap and deal one damage to the uh, young Pyromancer. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Seems a bit harsh. Um, <laughs> if you want to, I've favorite... got spiders you could take out. <laughs> well, there... That was my favorite uh, Electrode that I had in place. So, get yeah, a one-one flyer because I drew a card. Um, is there anything else happens when this does this? I do not have eleven or more cards in hand, so I can't cast them for free. Um, yeah, that's me done. <clears throat> All right, I will untap. And let's see here. I have to pay to untap this during my upkeep. Do I want to pay for to untap this? Yes. Um, I'd say it probably does. <laughs> Definitely need all that mana. No, I Tap think them. I'll just take one. <laughs> yeah. I'll take the one and not untap that. And then I will impulse draw two cards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, that's a good one. Um, I'm going to spend four of my manas. And I'm going to cast Raw Storm Conduit. And he will come into play with four loyalty counters. And let's see here, Keswick, uh, Flame, uh Flame Breather will trigger to deal one yeah. damage to each of my opponents because it's a non-creature spell. Oh, I'm gonna get hurt. And then I'm going to uptick. What? Well, uh, let's see here. Which was a Moonville For, Regent, yeah. With Moonville Regent, I will discard my hand and I will draw two cards, two, but she will four. replace that with four cards. One, two. Three and four. Nice. Okay. You didn't so, play a land, so you've got a land. I've not played a land yet this turn. I want. Man, I want both. I don't think I can get my storm kiln into play because I only have two land untapped and my one land there. So let's think about this real quick. I'm going to uptick uh, Rawl to scry, t uh, scry 1. And I will put that to the bottom. And then I'm going to play a Mountain as my land for turn. Tap Mountain and Island. And cast Goblin Electromancer. Reducing you spells by one 
Reducing the spells in my instants and sorcer uh, sorceries by one, yes. And I will not trigger Moonville Re Regent because I only have the one land available and I already did my land drop. So I will go ahead and go to combat. And I will swing the Moonville Regent at you, John, for four in the air. You know, you could play. Can you not play your Moonsilver Key? Is that a two? I only have one land left, and it is a two. All right. If I still had my Soul Ring, <laughs> I could use it. <laughs> <laughs> um, that will go to my instep, and these will go to exile. Will remain in exile. Okay, I will untap then and draw. I will play a mountain for turn. You have your cloth as trigger. I do. Yeah, cards in graveyard. Many. Uh, let's go with um, brain freeze out of yours, Crowbax. Because I think I saw that. Oh, uh, that was exiled already. Oh yeah, it was, wasn't it? Um, Rivers rebuke. Good choice. All right. There is yep. Yeah, there is that. So I gain two, you all take two, and that will trigger Chandra's Incinerator. So uh, if whenever I deal non-combat damage to an opponent, Chandra's Incinerator deals that much damage to target creature or planeswalker that player's control. So Ooh. I'm going to do so you two have three. Yeah, yes. you can deal two damage three times, right? Yeah, to do yeah to eat to one permanent each person plays. So I'll do Ral for two. Um, and Iron Crag is a four toughness. So I'll just do two to that, and then nothing will happen. And I will do two to one of your spider tokens. And you you targeted the roll, right? Yeah, roll. Okay. Um, oh, I don't know whether to respond now. Wait. Now I don't get to do what I want to do. Okay, I'm not going to respond yet. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tap green, green, and two to harmonize. Draw three cards. Not what I was hoping for. I'll have to just tap free and play a Gruul Locket, but I'll gain a life because I tap my altar of a Pantheon for it. And then... I can move to combat. I've got... So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Clothis is a creature. John, go, go, Vax. Yeah, I'm just seeing what I want to send. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to get through for those, really. There's so many blockers there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the incinerator gonna... does have trample. Yeah, so I'm uh... going to send Clothis at Rall, and I'm going to send. Chandra's Incinerator and Timeless Witness at you. All right. I will block your Colossus with a uh, bird token. Got you. Those I will block. I will block your Timeless Witness. That is a four four. Four four. With my one five Murmuring Mystic. And for the 6-6 six, six with Trample, I think I'll just take that 6. Great. Oops. Okay, uh, and then I will pass the turn. Okay, so on end step, I can activate Ishkana twice. So I'm going to... Only twice? Only twice. How much, yeah. how much, how much mana does your uh, uh, Cradle of the Sun make? Uh, this makes 9. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so then I'm making nine. So I'm going to shoot total for nine. And I'm going to shoot Krovax for nine. Oof. Yeah, 
or drain. Okay, then I'm going to untap. And then I'm going to draw for turn. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, John, you only got one blocker up. Uh, yes, just the one. Just the one. That's interesting, interesting. Uh, uh, how many hits do I need to do? One, two. I say, aren't we just dead? Yeah, I think you're all dead. I'm just double checking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am going to. Yeah, I think just you're all dead. So if I I can do it, do his corner's ability three times. So I'll shoot. Total for one of them, Kovacs for one of them, John for one of them. So it's nine. All right. Um, hang on a second. Oh. Um, what? How's it? no, it's all right. So taking nine, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. And then I'm gonna go to combat. And then I'm gonna go everything at you, John. I think that's just I can't block enough in a way, yeah. can I? So yeah, so if you block dead. the biggest one is three, so two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen. So it's exact. Yeah, I should have played the fail of summer. Never mind. Right. <laughs> yeah, oh, good game. Nice one, gents. Nice one. That's why chat was saying take me and off. And then delirium. there were fighters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, thanks for the games, Jens. Thanks everyone yeah, for watching. Yeah, thanks for the games.